Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's no chip. And a beyond, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Mike, this one should be interesting. Always a special go. night when we get to see two rivals go head to head. Especially when it's within the same conference. These teams know each other so well. Going to the second and third option might be necessary tonight because they know what's coming on that first option. But can we keep the execution going, getting to the second and third options to get better shots? I love it. We're looking for that. Here's Doherty. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Winston. Keeping an eye on what's going on. That's how Bennett finds a teammate with a better shot. Here's Jordan. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Really insisting on getting to the rim, even against great opposition. Sometimes willpower is better than manpower. He just wanted it more. Now here's Price. Jordy with the screen on Pex. And trying to break loose. Mark Nails Price. it from the high post. Stepping in from the line for Price. A 15, 18 footer is basically a layup. Paxson passes to Petrovic. And a miss there on the triple. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Price. And it's Chicago with the rebound. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Power down with both hands. Oh, how about that? Flushing it home. You don't see that often from Petrovic. Paxson against Price. Jordy with the screen on Paxson. Here's Price. Elo dishes to Price. Shot clock at six. And then shoots it in. Yeah, Mark Price, a superb passer. Excellent at finding teammates when they're wide open. Pass to Petrovic. Fires for three. Price grabs the board. Cavaliers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Uh, Jack of all trades kind of guard. He will scores, passes, rebounds, the and defends at an impressive Frank level. Elo. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That one misses. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And so here in Chicago, the last time these two clubs came together was also. Oh, 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 oh about man. that slam! Throw it down! My goodness! Oh, oh. This is why so many love watching Jordan play. Such an explosive dunker. Now, here's Price. He's coming off a 19-point game against Charlotte. And his playmaking was phenomenal, directing their offense with his court vision. Here's Price. To the inside. And that one's good by Petrovic. Love the hustle. Petrovic knows he has to stay ahead on the fast break. And here's Price. He brings it up for Cleveland. They trail by three. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It's an absolute must that you bring energy on the road. And they did not have it in that loss in the last meeting. And that shows up in the opposing offensive numbers. Larry Nance. 
So for the Bulls, their last game, a win against the Nuggets. Jordan with the ball. Now guarded by Price. Left block shot on the way. And the Bulls tack on two more. The D's got awful more resistance. Jordan is too skilled this close to the basket. Nance outside. Pass to Dort. Price outside from past the arc. He's off on that one. And the Bulls going the other way now. Jordan, the pass to Petrovic. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Petrovic has got his third basket of the night. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now, here's Price. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. Looks for Doty and gets it to him. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Cartwright. And Cleveland again with the bucket. Nice shot from the big man. Doherty showing off another wrinkle of his game. Pass to Petrovic. Bulls moving the ball around. Hands it from downtown. Petrovic has got nine. And that's exactly what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Price looking it over. Nance outside. Here's Doherty, and finished off down. by Doherty. Boy, it's just one of the many timeout things that Elo does pretty well. Finding an open man to set up with the ball. Well done there on the pass. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. A new here for the Bulls. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. By four. Pippen, the pass to Hobson. It's Pippen on the way. He had a 21 point outing in their last game against Denver. And a substantial chunk of his scoring came at the line as they struggled to defend him without fouling. And there's the pass to Brandon. Here's Eaton. He's guarded by Purdue. Pointer on the way. Landon's shot is off. Not quite a block shot, but no question he got a piece of it. It might not add to his stat line, but the offense will certainly be more cautious around the net for that. And Kerr pulls it down. The Cavaliers trail by four. 13 feet away. Passes it to Eaton. Out left to the wing. Goes up again, and he sinks the layup. Boy, I love how Brandon sets the table for his guys. Really the quintessential point guard. Gets the ball to his open teammate. Now here's Pippen. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Two minutes for Pass to Livingston. Two minutes. Back to Pippen. Kicks it to Armstrong. And again, Chicago. No good. Cleveland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Pick by Williams. Here's Brandon. That's tipped. Tons of reach from Levingson. Stuffed the shot there. Second shot opportunity. No good on the shot. And the Bulls going the other way now. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. They played a very efficient offensive game, creating good looks and converting those at a high clip. Give credit to the coaching staff for putting together a solid game plan. And of course, the players for going out and executing. Purdue in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Purdue, no luck. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. And in the pass to Curry. To the right side. Here's Brandon. He's covered by Armstrong. Shakes him. Pass to Eaton. 
to the middle. Another shot, and that to one's good. Right Brandon. Right. Brandon's got it all tied up now for Cleveland. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. I'm open. They can ah. use a bucket. Rebound by Williams. Got the look he wanted. Sometimes it just doesn't go down. Here's Brandon. He's covered by Armstrong. 19 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Shoots from 14. Williams gets the bucket. And the Cavaliers lead by two. And both of these teams right now, lights out shooting to start this one. The offense has been fun to watch, but I'm curious as to which team is going to step it up on defense first. First personal foul. First the Bulls foul. shooting their first free throws of the evening. Shooting for Chicago, B.J. Armstrong at the line for two. Shooting two. And that one falls for Armstrong. You know, you can't give him any room to shoot the three ball when you talk about B.J. Armstrong. He is a lethal three-point shooter. He's perfect from the line this time. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Brandon. And no good on the last second attempt this time. It's all tied in Chicago. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. 19. Welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? And, you know, this is a team that has always looked to push it on the break whenever they can. A very opportunistic approach on offense. I like how aggressive they remain attacking in transition. And so Price will bring it up for Cleveland. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Cleveland moving the ball around. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. Never easy trying to contain Darty when he's attacking, which is why he gets fouled. For Cleveland, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. At the line for two. for Doherty. Big fella is a polished offensive player. Doherty can do more than just get buckets. I mean, he's a willing passer, and I think he's great at setting up his teammates out of the post. And so Doherty nails both of them. Chicago trailing here. Elo with the steal. One-on-one -on -one here. Who's watching him? Here's Nance. And Nance shoots it in. That's a heads-up play by Kerr, finding the open man and getting him the ball on time and on target. Well done. And they double up Jordan. Here's Petrovic. Buries the long-range jumper. Petrovic has got 12 in the game. He has a particular set of skills that they're very fun to watch. Nance dishes the price. A shot's good on the assist by Nance. And the Cavaliers lead by three. Nance doing a nice job finding open teammates. That's what makes him a really good all-around player. Jordan, the pass to Carl. Here's Petrovic. All right, with a screen on Elon. Petrovic. Doherty grabs the board. The Cavaliers leading by three. Here's Nance. And Nance comes it in. Moving with intention. Nance putting some muscle behind his action to make sure he can't be stopped. It's stolen by Nance. Jordan against Kerr. 
And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Here's Nance. That shot off the mark. And in Chicago the other way. Here's Petrovic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Foul. It's First never easy foul. trying to guard Petrovic. Because he's clever at getting foul. these whistles. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Plenty of excitement around Petrovic as he came into the league. An established star overseas who has done well even under the weight of big expectations. Paxson, he's checked in for Hodges. Good on both. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. And the Cavaliers call time here. Cleveland leading by three. Price outside. Puts up a three. Curls it from outside. Price. Price has got five points now this quarter. Boy, he is a lethal outside shooter, an absolute laser. If you don't stay tight on him, Price is going to make you suffer. Jordan passes to Petrovic. Now here's King. The pass to Paxson. Here's Petrovic. Lock at six. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And here's Price. He brings it up for Cleveland. Here's Elo. No good there. He's able to get it in close. But what a reaction by the defense. Getting there to shut him down. Here's Jordan. And the shot is long. For Cleveland, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. Elo kicks to Price. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Doherty outside. Inside. Here's Nance. Moves back up. Doherty dishes to Nance. Two points. Larry that Nance. one goes. And it's an eight-point Cleveland lead. You know, you look at Doherty's assist numbers, and they are tremendous for a center. Brad has excellent vision of the floor. Jordan is double. All sorts of time. And again, Chicago. No good. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Here's Nance. Tries again. Elo kicks to Kerr. Doherty with the ball. Eight points for him. Chicago foul. John Paxson's checked in for Petrovic. The switch here also Second for Cleveland. And it's checked in for Elo. Substitution on the court. Here's Doherty. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Cleveland moving it around. Now here's Paxson. He's covered by Bennett. Price. He's got seven. Jordy with a screen on Jordan. Cleveland gets it back. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Jordy's got the lead up to ten now for the Cavs. Getting the timing perfect. Darty is someone you must box out or you face the consequences. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. And the 
Hawkins will go for a different look here. Will Purdue's checked in for Cartwright. Livingston comes in for Kent. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Michael Jordan. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Jackson. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 15 to 5 run. Here's Price. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And now a 12 point Cavalier lead. The six foot Price going inside and getting it done. Loving it. It's Pippen on the wing. He's covered by Bennett. The shot from the low post is good. Bennett's got his first points of the game. Anytime you get a look in close, that's a great possession. Bennett gets two points. Upside Pippen. The jump hook and the Bulls with another miss. Struggling to find their flow while the other team is on the roll. Yeah, this drought is really hurting them. They've got to mix things up and try and snap out of it. Now, here's Price. He's got nine. Brandon, the pass to Bennett. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Pippen. Passes it to Purdue. He kicks to Armstrong. And the Bulls with another miss. The Cavaliers lead by 14. Bennett, the pass to Eaton. Bennett with it. Pass to Brandon. Two minutes remaining in the first half. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Brandon's got his second basket of the night. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Seven left to play here in the second quarter. Pippen dishes to Armstrong. Here's Hobson. He's defended by Price. Hobson passes to Armstrong. Here's Pippen. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Price outside. Here's Pennant. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Here's Armstrong. He averages about uh, five points a game. Sweet move. And that's two points on the way. And Armstrong likes trying his luck inside, too. Demonstrating that he's more than just a jump shooter. Price kicks to Williams. Here's Brandon. He's covered by Armstrong. Price passes to Brandon. Six to shoot. Williams, a screen on Armstrong. Here's Brandon. And it's slammed in by Williams. Big stuff by Williams. Hard to stop a near seven-footer from attacking the rim. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Now, here's Pippen. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Not that hard to spot an illegal screen. Most of the time, an easy call for the officials. Chicago making some changes. Kings checked in for Purdue. And Hodges subbed in for Livingston. Price against Hodges. Williams sets a screen for Price. This one for three. Another three for Cleveland. Once he gets rolling, Mark Price can go off. We're seeing that tonight. Bulls trail by 19. Armstrong passes to Pippen. And another turnover here by Chicago. And so Price will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. And through one half, That's it hasn't even been close. With the Cavaliers lead by Your 19. Goals. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third 45. quarter underway. And as we 
dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Here is Price. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Kicks it to Nance. Elo against Jordan. Pass to Price. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Price has got the first bucket of the third here for the Cavs. Price has gone 6 of 10 shooting tonight from the field. Here's Jordan. And it's Price with the rebound. Cleveland leading by 21. Elo outside. Back to Price. Let's it fly from 18. Rebound by the Bulls. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Petrovic's shot is off. And got to be honest here. I mean, he should have made that. I bet it's not going to affect his confidence, though. He's going to keep taking those shots. Now here's Nance. He's got 10. And here's Price for three. Price can't get that one to fall. Bulls trail by 21. And they double up Jordan. Here's Petrovic, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Shooting got easy whistle. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First one falls for him. And Mike, with television more present than ever in day-to-day -day lives, the NBA continues to grow within that medium. Networks have started vying for NBA rights. Even the NBA draft is televised for the last few years. The sport is definitely growing along with TV. Kerr's checked in for the Cavaliers. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Second chance effort. That shot off. So the Bulls will take it the other way. And stolen by Bennett. Down low, Doherty. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Going to work down low. Doherty knows his team expects him to attack on the block. That's just what he's doing. Jordan looking around. And they double up Jordan. On the money from 12 feet away. Jordan's got 10 points. What a move that time. Crossed up the whole building on that play. Maxson against Kerr. The pass to Bennett. Shoots the three. And Kerr with the basket on the assist by Bennett. Bennett's got assist number five here tonight. So good at working off the ball. Kerr knows how to get himself into the right position so that he can capitalize off the catch and shoot. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. <laughs> the Bulls have gone one of three since starting the second half. Maxson kicks to Jordan. With the drive. Second chance shot. The rebound by Bennett. Cleveland leading by 22. Chicago foul. Drazen Petrovic. First personal foul. First team foul. In for the Cavaliers. Terrell Brandon. Third quarter here and three minutes have come off the clock. Passes to Kerr. Six on the shot clock. Get there, get there. 
Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Elo can't hit. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it out for the bowl. And it's blocked. Nance, one of the superb shot blockers in the game. This has a real good sense of when to elevate on the defensive end. Jordy outside. Now Nance. Ten points for him. Here's Brandon. A shot's good on the assist by Nance. Brandon's got six. Well, it's really hard to come back if you can't get stops. You've got to figure out a way to stop the bleeding if you're going to come back. And he looked very comfortable on that one. Not a lot of resistance. Now here's King. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Cartwright gets the bucket. And offensively, that's where Cartwright is at his best, working on the interior. Kerr outside. Now the feed to Darty. It's deflected. Bulls have gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvement, sir. Strong move in there by Jordan to draw the contact. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play he chance here for him. I'm not so sure he needed it, but foul. the fadeaway does Second make the shot foul. even sweeter. And a Shooting moment now to Chicago. quickly take a look at the offensive Michael approach Jordan. for the Cavaliers. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Pippen's checked in for Cartwright. Hobson comes in for Petrovich. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. Free throw good, Jordan. What separates Jordan from others, in my mind, is his singular focus. Nothing comes between him and the ultimate goal of winning the game. Here's Brandon. He has six. What's the roll? He feeds it to Nance. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. 12 points for him. Good hustle that time by Nance to rescue the play, getting in there for the board, and then putting it back with no hesitation. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Back to Pippen. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Third team foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Scotty Pippen taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Points, assists, rebounds, defense. Scotty Pippen gives your team all of that. Every team in the league wants a guy like him. Hodges checked in for the Bulls. He hits both from the strike. Here's Brandon. He's got six. It's blocked, and they'll get another chance. Pass to Eaton. And another shot, and he lays it up and in. And the Cavaliers lead by 21. Eaton able to go straight through that interior defense to get the score, holding nothing back. To the left side wing. Pass to Armstrong. No good from outside. The Cavaliers leading by 21. The pass to Brandon. Back to Nance. Passes it to Williams. Five on the clock. Here's Eaton. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Eaton's got six points demonstrating why he's a key component of this team. Williams is just so unselfish with the ball. Pippen, the pass to King. Fades away. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. 
Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Kerr outside. Here's Heaton. Here's Williams. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Williams has got his third bucket of the night. Armstrong passes to Pippen. Pass to Hodges. Jacks up a three. Sinks the triple. Hodges has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And, you know, Craig Hodges is one of those special utility players. Huh? He's mainly a three-point shooter and really relishes that role and has a great stroke. Now here's Nance. 12 points for him. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Chicago's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And here's Armstrong. Back to Pippen. Pass to Hobson. Takes the three. Nance with the rebound. Nance has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's the pass to Kerr. Here's Heaton. Makes it off the glass. He's got eight. Getting rewarded for all his work down low. And that's what they want from him. If he goes unchecked on the glass, they'll end up with a lead like this more often than not. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The Bulls shooting a meager 37% for the game. Here's Jordan. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Jordan's got a lot of flash to his game. A terrific guard. Loves getting tricky with his ball handling and creating shots for himself. And another great look at the 2K drop. He has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. And that Martin one's Price. good. Price. Now the Bulls with it. Jackson kicks to Jordan. The rebound by Bennett. Cavaliers shooting at 51%. Really so. And here's Price for three. It's rebounded by Paxson. Passes it to Petrovic. It's good from long range. Petrovic has got 19 points. You got to be mindful of where Petrovic is at all times, especially when he's positioned around these corner three spots. He's lethal from there. Price outside. Pass to Dorton. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Williams, a screen on Hex. Takes it from ten. Here's Brandon. Out to Price. Stolen by Pippen. Here we go. And it's Pippen shaking it down. You know, one of the best aspects of Pippen's game, in my mind, creating off the dribble. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Price outside. Ring shot on the way. And he overshot that one, missing. Bulls trail by 19. Pass to Petrovic. Paxson outside. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Petrovic. Now the pass to Jordan. Shot clock at five. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Pippen, no luck. The Cavaliers leading by 19. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Cavaliers making a switch here. Elo's checked in. Craig Elo. Price with the ball. Joe. 
Pippen with the steal. It's off his foot. And the ref's whistling a kickball. And Phil Chicago Jackson wants a timeout. You can see the Colts very displeased with their defensive effort on the glass. They're giving up a bunch of second chance points. They got to get that corrected. And now we'll take a moment for our presentation of our player of the game, Larry Nance. Well, I think you've got to look at the defense for part of this. Clearly, he was outstanding, but the defense didn't really put up any resistance at all. And as a result, he was able to eat and eat and eat some more. And they were in danger of losing back-to-back -back games before he stepped to the forefront here tonight. This was not a game he was going to let get away from him. To the paint, here's Cody. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, sometimes you just got to work Second smarter, team. not necessarily harder. Doherty using the pump fake Brad to get the defense off balance. And he's good on the second. So it's Chicago now. They played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three points. Outside Jordan. Over Bennett. The Bulls with another miss. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. And the basket is good. 18 points for Mark Price. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Dishes it to Williams. Elo against Jordan. Here's Price. Rebound by the Bulls. Cartwright's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Jordan. Slammed in by Jordan. Pretty artful dribbling display by Jordan there, and it completely baffled the defender. Timeout called the Cavaliers. It appears that he's in a lot of pain, and they call the timeout, and the trainer's going to have a chance to take a look at him. Kings check in for the Bulls. Stacy King. Cleveland leading by 20. Price outside. From outside off the mark. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. And Jordan slams it in. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. Price outside. Over in the corner, Williams. This is it to Dort. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. And the Cavaliers lead by 20. You know, one of the things I appreciate so much about Doherty is that he's so efficient. I mean, as well as how sound his shot selection is. This guy just is rock solid in every way. Here's Petrovic, and he's good on the three ball. Petrovic has got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Bulls. Cavaliers have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. It's Price on the wing, guarded by Paxson. A fadeaway. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got four rebounds in this game. He takes it in, and Jordan slams it in. Powering his way to the rack. I love when Jordan shows no mercy on the rim. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Price outside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Kicks to Bennett. Pass to Doherty. Hey, 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 hey. 
Pass to Bennett. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Price. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal Defense is working overtime to try and shut Price down, but he sticks with his motion and gets the foul. Mark Price taking two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. A natural leader and floor general. Price is someone you feel comfortable with facilitating your offense, especially. Petrovich with the pass to Jordan. Over Bennett. The shot's good from Jordan. That's 23 points for Michael Jordan. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensive. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And the pass to Williams. to Bennett. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. To the inside. Gordy against Jordan. And there's the foul. It's on Mark Price. That's his first foul. First team foul. One thirty-seven left in the fourth. Here's Jordan, and the Bulls tack on two more. He is money from there. Jordan is so comfortable operating from mid-range. Cleveland leading by 13. Passes to Williams. No good that time. And in Chicago the other way. Jordan with it. Williams picks him up. And it's denied. And the attempt seven feet. Dory can really affect your offense. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Nancy's checked in for Hot Rod Williams. One twelve left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Petrovic. Off target with his three. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Not only racking up points, but also limiting their opponent's scoring. Really impressive win here for the Cavaliers. Their assist numbers, Mike, show you how well their offense was able to operate in every way. Yeah, they did a great job feeding each other, generating opportunities to score. And this will now push it to a total of 44 games in the win column on the season. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions and the nice night it ended up being for Mark Price. And to be honest, the numbers don't tell the whole story. He had his fingerprints all over this game. It was a huge difference maker. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Paxson passes to Petrovic. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Well, they haven't given up. They've certainly not quit. Got to give them a lot of credit for that. And the deficit likely too much to overcome, but showing their pride, still competing. Price outside. Cavaliers taking the win here. That's Coach, they're going to take this road win. The fans here tonight will leave disappointed, but for the visiting team, our big one. They stayed sharp when it counted and were able to gut out a win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Mike Frizzello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.